Mr. Connolly. Hello. Today we will be reviewing sickle cell anemia to make sure you know the full risks and benefits and the effects of your potential children. So let's get started. Okay. So sickle cell anemia is a genetic mutation that affects your red blood cells, causing them to break down. It can cause chronic pain. Other known names are thesmemia and hemoglobin S disease. Yes, as you know, my wife is a carrier for sickle cell anemia, and I have this condition, so there's potential of my future child getting it, so I want to review all the symptoms. Yes. Well, the most common symptoms are that the red blood cells prevent oxygen from getting to the most important organs, pain in the joints and chest, inability to make urine, and having blood in your urine, yellowing skin and eyes, and infections. What type of infections are there? Because I only know of Staphylococcus and Haemophilus influenza type B infections. Well, while those are two possible infections, there's also Staphemia and Pneumonia, which are infections in the lungs and blood. There's also bone and brain and spinal cord infections, which are meningitis and ostomolitis. As your primary doctor has told you, blood cells deformations cause red blood cells to go from round, flexible, and circular figures to sticky and turning into crescent shapes. Yes, I am very familiar with what it does to my blood cells, but how do I know if my kids will get, get sickle cell anemia, or if they'll just be carriers, or if they won't have it at all? Well, if you look at this pennant square, it shows you that 50% of your possible children will be girls and 50% will be boys. And if you look over here, both of your girls will have a 100% chance of just being car carriers and not getting sickle cell anemia. But only one of your boys will have a potential of getting sickle cell anemia and one will have the potential of having it all to and not having it at all. This pedigree also shows it this is you with your disease. This is your wife as a carrier and your four potential children. What are the treatments for sickle cell anemia if I were to have a boy with the disease? Well, there's morphine, which is a pain reliever. You can also get some folic acid, which is a vitamin that can cure certain types of anemia. There's also blood transfusions, which is, uh, which is done through surgery. However, if your child has sickle cell anemia, which would be a potential boy child, your child would be immune to malaria. Well, that's a good sign, but how would my child even get sickle cell anemia? Well, sickle cell anemia is inherited through a mutation in the 11th chromosome, which is a hemoglobin beta gene. Hemoglobin transports oxygen throughout your body. This is a recessive which means that it is less likely to be inherited. Recessive traits are considered carriers, which is just like your wife. So if my wife and I decided to have children, how can I keep them safe? Well, keeping your so children safe should involve visiting your doctor regularly upon your child's condition. How do I know if my child's condition is changing? Well, if your child has different emotions, you might need to see a counselor to make sure that they can cope with sickle cell anemia. And if their symptoms show more aggressively, check with your doctor regularly. Thank you for meeting with me. I feel more prepared now. No problem. Do you have any last questions for me? Well, do you think my wife and I should have children? Well, it is your choice, but there's a 75% chance your child will not have sickle cell anemia. So, in my opinion, if I were you, I would have children. Thank you for your time. No problem.